I have an image up in here called backpacks.jpg, which you can find from the info folder. We are going to turn them into predominantly grayscale backpacks, but leave one of them in color. So I'm going to show you a way that you can draw uh, the, the reader's eye to one specific element in an image. And in fact, we're going to uh, leave just this backpack over here on the left hand side in color and everything else in grayscale. Now, to do that, we actually need to create a selection around the thing that we want to leave in color first, oddly enough, and then we'll reverse the selection. Um, I'm going to pick up my zoom tool and then zoom into the backpack in this region here. Get a good clear view of it on screen. And then uh, to create a selection around something that's a little bit more intricate, then I would suggest go back to your lasso tools. And then I'm going to choose the magnetic lasso tool. And if you recall, if I take you back to preferences, so on the PC, it would be edit and then preferences will be down here somewhere on the Mac. It's Photoshop preferences and cursors to make this tool work the most efficiently as it can, then you must change the other cursor option to precise. So set it to precise and then you can click OK. And then from here, well, we need to make sure that the mode at the top is set to new, feather is set to zero, anti-alias turned on. And then we've got three numerical fields, which are very odd. But in here, we've got width, contrast and frequency. So let's take width, first of all. If I hover my cursor over the image window, you might might be able to spot that my small ringed region on screen, that denotes the area that Photoshop's going to look for an edge to something. So this is like an edge tracing selecting tool. Now, it won't look anywhere beyond that. So you need to make sure that if you've got a steady hand, that can be quite small. If you have got not quite as a steady hand, you might want to make that a little bit bigger to make it easier to just keep latching onto an edge. So if I change the width in here from 10 PX pixels to 30 and press return, notice how much bigger it is. I am going to go back up to the top. And I'm going to set that back to 20 in there. In fact, I will pick up my zoom tool and just zoom in a touch just so I can see the details around here and switch back to my magnetic lasso tool. So yeah, probably a little bit smaller in all honesty. Let's go for something like 15. And then that should be plenty in terms of the size in there. Contrast, well, you need to take a look at your uh, subject. Ours is the orange bag. The elements that are around it, do they differ greatly in colour and in contrast? Well, mostly they do, but we've got an orange bag at the top up here, so that might be quite challenging. I'm just going to increase that to, say, 50%. Middle of the road. And then finally, frequency. Well, Frequency, let me show you what that is. So if I left click and start selecting and then just move my cursor along, if the value for frequency is set very low, like 57, you'll have to move your cursor quite far for it to put down these little squares. Now, these are called fastening pins. From my experience, this is very frustrating. So I'm going to hit the escape key to stop selecting, go up to the top and then just change that to 100. Press return. 100 is the maximum. And then from here, well, we have to make sure that the ring region is exactly centered over the edge of what you want to select. And I'll left click, let go of the mouse. And then from here on in, you don't have to left click or hold down the mouse until you finish the selection. So you're literally just gliding your cursor around on your desk or your mouse button here. So um, I'm just going to hover my cursor along here making sure the center of my cursor is going around the edge of the bag. I'm going around the top of the strap in here as well. Don't agonize too much over you know, grabbing any of the dark black in the background because, um, again, when we change the color of this bag, anything that's very, very bright or very, very dark will not change too much when we alter the hues. It's just the way it works. So I'm going down here. Uh, and again, I'm not left clicking anywhere. Photoshop is just detecting where there is a very quick change between the color and how bright or how dark it is. It will detect the edge and put those fastening pins on. So I've got a nice detailed view of this bag in here. This is the problem you'll have. If you can't see the whole of the subject, then it disappears. So then you start doing this and then it goes all over the place and then it feels very frustrating. So my suggestion would be, first of all, if this happens, Take your cursor back to the point just before it went wrong. Let go of your mouse. Don't touch it. 
because it will not allow you to do what I'm about to do next, which is to hit the backspace key in the keyboard. Hitting the backspace key will delete or remove any of the points that I don't need in there, like so. Then you can go back and then carry on hovering your cursor and your mouse along the edge of that bag. Now, before you do reach the edge, hold down the space bar. It'll give you temporary access to the hand tool. Keep the space bar held down, click and hold down the left mouse button and drag to a point where you can see as much of the remaining portion of the bag as possible. Then you must let go of the left mouse button first and then let go of the um, space bar and it'll pretty much guarantee that you start back in the same place. Uh, notice again here, I've made a mistake because I've moved my mouse. Backspace a couple of times. Don't be afraid if you do run out of room on your desk, just pick your mouse immediately up and then put it back down again somewhere else and you'll be able to carry on moving here. So you do, you do need a bit of space on your desk for this tool. So I'm just whizzing around here. You'd be surprised actually how quickly you can whiz around this bag and your subjects using this tool. So I have to say this tool's been in Photoshop for a very long time and it's still in many respects my go-to tool for selecting the edges of people sometimes or products if they've got a very uneven edge like this does. So again in here, again, I'm not too concerned. I'm going to show you techniques of how we can add bits and remove bits from our selection, but all the way back around here, when you reach the original starting position, your cursor should change in appearance. If it doesn't double left click with the mouse and it will finish your selection off and you'll get your little marching ants around the outside. But that's how you create an initial silhouette selection of you, the whole of your subject. And in the next video, I'll show you how we can refine this. We'll add bits to it and we'll trim bits away from the selection that we don't need.